In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a procedure inside of assembly language. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to have my string here and uh, I'm going to make it byte and it's going to be in a string and I'm going to say hello and zero at the end. Then I'm going, okay, so this part is important. You have to pay attention. We want to create a procedure inside of um, in, in the assembly language. So the first thing to notice is that your procedure goes after main ENDP and before end main. So your procedure will go here after main ENDP and before end main. And here you will name your procedure. You can name it anything that you want. I'm going to say some procedure. I'm going to say some prop. So that's that. And then the start of that, you have to say proc. Exactly the same way. It doesn't matter if it is uppercase or lowercase, but like your main proc, you have here some proc, proc. So procedure. And then for the end of it, you're going to say some proc ENDP exactly like the end of your main main endp some proc endp okay so now i can put anything that i want inside of it um i'm gonna move edx to offset of um my string and then i'm gonna move uh sorry i'm gonna call write string on it but this is inside of my procedure. All of these things, let me make it better a little bit and uh, make it more readable. Okay, and we're going to put some space here. Okay, so right now I have this one inside of my um, procedure. It is not inside of my main. And as long as it is not inside of the main, it's not going to do anything. And if I don't have any problem, any issue with my procedure, um, unmatched block nesting, some proc. Okay, I forgot to put E here. Um, if I can build it and I can run it, but I don't get anything. Start without debugging. As you can see, it is empty. Now we want to actually call this procedure to call the write string for us and say hello. So what we can do, we can here just say call some proc and that's it. And that's going to um, print, that's going to execute whatever it is inside of my some proc. Okay, I'm going to build it and I'm going to run it. And it says hello. So again, you first declare your um, procedure inside of before, uh, after main ENDP and before end main. And you start with the name of the procedure and after that you will say proc and you will end it with some proc and ENDP. And you know we forgot something but it's still our program one. We have to always put ret here. And we will understand later what RET is for, R-E-T is for. So you have to put R-E-T at the end always. I forgot, but, I, but it still ran for some reason. Maybe because I didn't need to um, put any number in front of uh, R-E-T. That's why it, it, it worked. But you have to not forget to put that there. So we have some PROC and PROC. And then we have some proc ENDP and we have RET before the end and move EDX offset call write a string. And when I call my procedure, it's going to show whatever it's going to execute, whatever inside of my um, procedure. Okay, let's run this again. And start without debugging. And I get hello.